name's Riley Cooper, and this is my wife, Caroline. This is Miller. He's six weeks old yesterday. Yeah. We were going to the hospital. I was not expecting to stay. I was expecting to get some blood work done and just check on everything, and we ended up staying. And from the second that they brought me in there and put me in the gown, they were, you know, leading me through. All the nurses were leading me through each, each step, and what they were doing next and you know what my results were and Riley wasn't in the room yet so I was feeling a little nervous you know just not realizing that this was happening. As soon as we came into reception I could understand why they call it the baby palace because they are just so welcoming. The, the nurse that we kind of got greeted by was from where she's from or that area so we felt at home right away and she was very warm and inviting and and she kind of talked Caroline through the process of, okay, this is a little more than blood work. Oh, you're having contractions. So, oh, well, let's have a baby. Her birth plan was um, she wanted to do a vaginal delivery um, epidural. So she wanted to have that whole experience. And they were very caring and understood that that was something she wanted. So we, we went according to plan that we had given them. And they respected um, our wishes yeah. that way. Caroline labored for 11 hours. Yeah and then eventually got to three and a half centimeters. There was a moment where we were like, okay, this is C-section, and, and Caroline. And even before that, our nurse Jess, who was there, who was wonderful, she really knew that I wanted to uh, try to avoid a C-section, and so she was helping me get into all the different positions and try, and she said, I want to make you feel like that you tried and didn't give up, and she really did. And then when we decided that it was time for a C-section, Jess said, okay, it's okay, this is what's exactly what's gonna happen, and gave me every step of the way, which gave me so much comfort going into, going into it. But as soon as they sent her back to the OR, we were all well informed. We already knew our anesthesiologist's names and, you know, we were comfortable with it. Or I was at least. She was kind of out of it yeah. for me and tired. But they wheeled her back there and I think the whole thing was done in like 10 or 11 minutes. I felt safe through it all too. I was worried about, you know, a big operation, but I felt safe the entire time. C-section was probably her worst fear and it came through. but. It, it was just so well handled. But afterwards too, you know, Jess followed us through to the recovery room. I don't know what that area is called, but she was in there the whole time and Jess she, was she helped me breastfeed right away, which was something that I really was important to me too. And she helped start that as soon as I got out and then I've had a great experience breastfeeding too. I think we left with a lot of confidence, but I don't know if all parents leave the hospital with confidence. We left thinking, okay, this is gonna be a huge adjustment, but we can do, we can do it because yeah. of the tools and the things that the nurses and the doctors that there helped us with. We, we are over the moon with our experience. We are.